Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the D3DX9 underscore 26 DLL file is missing error you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So perhaps you were attempting to install an application or program and you're experiencing this error alert. This tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into this video and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder option. One of the best managers should say File Explorer Options if you're on Windows 10. You want to left click on that one time, and then you want to left click on the View tab up at the top, and then go down to Hidden Files and Folders. You want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives in here, and then proceed to left click on Apply and OK. Once you've done that, you want to open up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome here, and I'm going to navigate over to Google.com. And into Google, I'm going to type in d3dx9 underscore 26.dll download. And then I'm going to enter. One of the best matches should be from a website that says dll slash files.com. I would highly recommend you follow along with the link that I'm going to be showing in this video today. And the web page should look like this when you arrive. Underneath available versions, you want to select the one that corresponds to your version of Windows. Most people should be the 64-bit version of the Windows operating system, so that's the one we're going to select in this tutorial today. It should download it in a compressed file format if you select the correct download. So, just want to stress that. If you click on the wrong thing, I really don't know what to tell you, but you want to make sure you're downloading the zip file here. And once you have the DLL file right here in this folder, I'm going to left click on the file itself and drag it over to the desktop by left clicking on it and holding down on the left mouse pointer. Once it's on the desktop, I'm going to close out of this window. And I'm going to go back to the start menu and type in computer. One of the best managers should say this PC right above desktop app. I'm going to left click on that one time to open it up. And now I want to go underneath whatever drive Windows installed on. It should be pretty clearly indicated by a little Windows icon appearing right above a hard disk. You want to double click on it and it should take you to a page that looks like this. Double click on the Windows folder now. And now if you're running a 64-bit version of the operating system, you want to locate a folder that says System32. And you want to take this DLL file on our desktop, left click on it and drag it into the System32 folder. And it should say move to System32 when you are over the System32 folder itself. It should say you'll need to provide a ministry of permission to move to this folder. Select Continue. And keep in mind if you're running a 32-bit version of the operating system, instead of moving it to the System32 folder, you want to move it to the SysWow64 folder. So SYSWow64 instead. But for most of you guys should be running the 64-bit version of the Windows operating system. This should be sufficient what I just showed you in this tutorial. And I would recommend if you want to change back your folder option to hidden, you're more than welcome to do that at this point, which is basically the first step of this tutorial. And then I would also recommend you close out of any open programs or applications you still have on your computer, restart your computer or device, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.